Good afternoon to all my people tuned in to the leading internet radio station, man. This is the Vital Pop-Up Show with the one and only Mr. Vital. And the time has changed now, guys. The Vital Pop-Up is on a Wednesday from the hours of 3 up until 4. So I way you guys can enjoy the vibes. Today I will be interviewing the one and only Tebow the Nerd, guys. So you guys can stay tuned for the Licka Licka Vibes. I hope that you don't You were the one I trusted The one that I love I kept you a secret The girl of my dreams You were the one I trusted The one that I love I kept you a secret The girl of my dreams I never trust again Trust again I never love again I never trust again One thing to you, I'd say your dad is an I broke your heart, but it's not my fault I broke your heart and you did the same Except for that you play I can't believe that you did that Look at my life, it's changed Got no time for chit-chat Table you and Table you and Every time you fall through my heart with a brick You really weak and you make me sick Can you what you mean? The who had your back when nobody had it added. I punish every girl for your mistakes But what can I say? And who can I blame? You went through a lot yourself, girl Your dad is abusive Your mama got stressed Your sister's a psycho And I don't want to with the one I trusted The one that I love I kept you a secret The girl of my dreams You were the one I trusted The one that I love I kept you a secret The girl of my dreams I never trust again Trust again I never love again That right, baby, die ding rak nog heel te die radio eerste vier onze stasie, onze talent. In Yella play liquor, you'll did on some uh, I see you have some people tuned in here right here from the Facebook Live saying greetings, Mr. Vital, on us banner, hashtag vital, and then there's fire emojis as well. Away, away, guys. I hope you guys are gonna have a liquor one. I'm gonna be uh, doing a young interview with with Tibur the Nerd. Uh, without further ado, guys, I'm gonna give the man's a young call and, and, and see what's happening on his side of life, are we? Hey, 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 can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, are we, are we, how are you doing, my brother? I'm fine, thank yourself, sir. I'm good, I'm good. Uh, uh, first things first, my brother, is it Tebow or Table the Nerd? It's Table. Table the Nerd. Oh, Table. I have a friend that that, 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 that goes by the name of Tebow. That's why I had to ask that one. Oh. Uh, shout out to you, King. Uh, how long would you last in a zombie apocalypse? I think I would last until every single zombie isn't uh, alive. Huh? I feel like I, I feel like we, I would last long. <laughs> my survival skills are very good. I, 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 I think yeah. I'm gonna take your word for that, one, my brother. Um, yes, sir. Who is your favorite cartoon character, my bro? Mm, that's a tough one. There's so many. I don't even know who to choose, <laughs> but there's a lot. I would say. You remember Kick Butoski? Yeah. Yeah, I would say Kick Butoski. Damn, damn, this yeah. man is taking us back now. Yeah, he was a good character. Yeah, I think Kick Butoski. 
Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Okay, that's that's just off topic, man. I just I just wanted to see where you at, you know. Uh, oh. Last, <laughs> last one, my brother. Uh, if you got a million bucks today, what would you do? No tax. Mm. No tax. No tax. Um, I feel like I would just buy like my favorite car because I love cars. I would just buy like like a car, and that's basically it. Yeah, I don't do much, but I travel because I like traveling. I travel the world to see the world, my friends, because I I like spending time with my friends. So I'd actually travel the world, actually. Sure, sure, power. Yeah, man. I would love traveling as well. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Table the Nerd, welcome to Radio Easter River King. I would like to interview you when you're actually in Cape Town. Yeah. Um. I'm currently based in the Eastern Cape. Yeah, uh, I do go to Western Cape often because I'm from Muscle Bay. Yeah, so th- that that's that's something that that's possible, very possible, and I'd also love that because Cape Town is one of my favorite cities, actually. Sure, Cape Town is a vibe, bro. Yeah, Cape Town is. Nah, big facts. Uh, so so you said you're based in in, in PE currently. Eh? Uh, Utenek. I'm actually from Muscle Bay. I've been here for about seven months now due to work. And I'm adapting. It's not where I really want to be, but that's the way we have to be in order to become the person you want to be, you understand? So life put me here, and I'm just making the most out of it. Sure, sure. Powerful. Yeah. Uh, speaking about the work now, I, I saw on, on your WhatsApp, I saw you, you, you do clothing as well. Yes, and it started as a joke. It's it actually the clothing brand started off as a joke. My whole name actually also started off as a joke, and we just basically capitalized off that. So the the call me a nerd is actually a quote from my very first single, uh, which is nerd. And I got the name nerd because there was the same artist when I dropped my very first single. I went by the name of Table, and then when I uploaded on iTunes, there was another artist with the same name as me, mm. and his music used to pop up before mine. And my friend was like, "We have a problem because people are gonna think that you that nerd." I was like, "What do you mean? Mm. No, the music that that Table was making is nerdy." So people are going to think that you that nerd. So why don't you change your name from Table to Table the Nerd so that people don't think that you're a nerd. So I dropped my first single called Nerd. And then we took the quote from I Heard You Call Me a Nerd and just made the clothing brand as well. Sure. Yeah. So powerful. And how, how, when, when did you start this clothing brand? Uh, I started the clothing brand during lockdown. Uh-huh. When we basically had nothing to do, um, I'm I'm friends with people, you know, graphic designers, people who print T-shirts and those things. So I was sitting in my friend's um, one of his workshops where he has this studio set up, and he made me a logo. It's like, well, how does this look? I was like, that looks fire. And then he gave me that T-shirt, and I wore that T-shirt that day, and people liked it. Um, mm-hmm. And then I was like, let me just make a brand out out of this, and that was 2020. So Damn. it's been four years now. Oh, that's dope. That's so dope. Yeah. And if we would like to buy or check out your products, maybe where can we go to? Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram. It's call me a nerd for for my clothing brand, and me as a brand. It's table the nerd on Instagram, and on TikTok table the nerd, and yeah, actually on all um platforms it's table the nerd. So you can just search, yeah. and then you'll find you'll find all my details there. Ah, yeah, you can. I hear you. Um. Table, what got you into rapping, my bro? What got you into music? Um, I've 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 got in, introduced to to music in, at a very young age. My sister used to be a hip hop fan back in two thousand and five. Yeah, and we used to share a room back then. So she had the CD player playing Eminem's music, and little did I know that these this kind of music was exposed to me um, from a young age. And when I got into high school, I used to play rugby. I got tired of being tackled for running after a ball. <laughs> so I started hanging out with new people. And these people were, you know, they were very influenced by hip hop. So yeah. they started introducing me to SA hip hop, which I didn't listen to. And this is the same time when Casper and them just came, or well, was in the come up. And it, I started okay, hanging yeah. out with them. I started hanging out with them. And I had one studio session. That was my very, very first studio session that I attended. And I saw how they created music. And... Yeah. I, I gave it a try, uh, and it's been <laughs> it's been over nine years now. Damn. Yeah, 
Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, I so see. so so I would say friends influenced me in in getting into music. Sure, sure. Yeah, Powerful. but but I'm 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 an artist that takes time to release music. Um, in the nine years of making music, I've only released six singles. Damn, damn. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's good. That's good. Um, now you say that I saw you also DJ. Or am I mistaken if if I say that? Yeah, I'm a songwriter, a, rec- a recording artist, DJ. You know, I'm just a musician in general. You know. So did you start out? Did no, you start I out started as a rapper. As, I started out as a writer, like writing music for other people, like writing music for my friends, and then I just started making music for myself, and then the rest followed. Sure, sure. So yeah. do you produce as well? No, I don't. Unfortunately, I can't produce. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can't yeah. do everything, bro. Come on, you yeah, can't. No, you, you must leave it for, for other people. So now nah, you can't yeah. do everything, bro. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Damn. And, and, and I'm grateful that I don't know how to produce because I wouldn't have met uh, my amazing producer who, the same producer who produced uh, Trusted. So if I, I was, if I could um, produce, I wasn't, I wasn't going to meet him. So I feel like it's a blessing as well that I can't. Yeah, I feel you, King. I feel you. Yeah. Um. So at this point, after nine years of, of of being in this thing, bro, what is your at at this point now in twenty twenty four? What would you say is your main inspiration behind your music now at this point? I know it changes maybe over time, yeah. or what? So what what is it now? Um, I would say I I feel like I don't have a point to prove anymore. I used to make music, you know, to prove a point that look, I can do this. Mm. I'm capable. Of, I'm capable of doing this. And after, you know, winning the 2021 awards, Go sure. Modest of the Year, and I just felt like the music that I st- should start making, it should it should make sense. So the music that I make mm-hmm. right now is a reflection of the things that I'm going through, what I went through, or just how I'm feeling in general. So for me, I would say the music that I make right now is just, it's just about how I'm feeling and not, you know, having expectations of how it's gonna how the public is gonna receive it yeah. yeah so so i would say the space that i'm in right now is not to compete or 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 to see myself as 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 one of the biggest artists but just to tell my side of the story and tell people who i am yes yeah, so i like that yeah. i like that yeah okay Okay, okay, I see you, King. I see you. I see where you're coming from as well. Uh, look here, uh, Tebo. You you told me earlier about your sister influencing you in 2005 with the M M&M and M music yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But I want to know what artists, what albums, what artists d- inspired you growing up that you listened to on your own, not influenced yeah, by anyone. Artists that um, you liked internationally and locally. Internationally first, uh, though. I would say I I only started listening to albums on my own. I would say like 2014. I would say the the Casper Nieves Sulu Fela album. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I would say that really inspired me. Sure. Um, but 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 but, uh, album that felt, that made me feel like you know what <laughs> I can do this. That I listened out of my own and I still listen to this day. Yeah. Is most definitely Bad Hair by Nasty C. Sure, bruh. Yeah. Damn, yeah. damn, 2016. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 2016. <laughs> ah, it's a timeless one. Yes, so I would say, um, yeah, Nasty C is bad hair. Cho, 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 cho. Okay, okay, I feel you, King. Uh, that's locally, internationally. Is there any artist that, that you like internationally that you feel like inspired you? Uh, I, don't, I don't really listen to international music anymore. No, um, no, I don't listen to international music anymore. Uh, so I would say, uh, no, there, there's no international album that I would listen to right now or that I listen to yeah. in that way. Yeah. I feel you. I feel yes, you. Sir. I feel you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, if you could open up for any artist, bro, who would it be? Mm. Mm. Ah, that's the easy one. Uh, most definitely... Burner Boy. Sure. Yeah. Damn. A Burner Boy concert. I feel like a Burner Boy concert. If I could open up for a Burner Boy, that would be that would be something 
that 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 I would say that would be amazing for me. And locally, would you like to open up for locally if you can? Locally, yeah. Um, I have to think about it now. You know, I really have to think about that. <laughs> but I would say an artist, maybe like Maporisa, DJ Maporisa, or Gabza. Sure, sure, legends yeah. of the game, bro. Yeah, they mm. changed the game and how and how music is made in South Africa. So yeah, most definitely Maporisa or Gabza. I feel you. Um, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a, a certain genre that I listen to. I listen to every single genre of these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cavs and Maporiza are some superstars, bro. Nah, Maporiza, he's a genius, bro. I, I don't care what people say about him. I do yeah. see what people say about him online and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, critics are always going to say stuff when you're doing big things, but I feel like yes. he's, he's a pioneer, bro. For real. Yeah, he is, most definitely. For real, for real. Um, King, I, I, I normally do a, a this or that um, preference game. So, are you, okay. are you keen? Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Okay. I'm cool with that. So you just choose the one or the other. You can say why you're choosing it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can say why. Okay. 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 So uh, would you rather go to the swimming pools or to the beach? Beach. Uh, I grew up in a I grew up in a coastal town, so most definitely the beach. I hear you. I hear you. Didn't take long for you to say that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's vital. Club party versus house party. House party. Um, I'm very antisocial for a socialite. So I would be, you know, I'll be talkative around people that I know. And then I'll be introvert around in public. So house party. I feel you. I feel you, King. Um, TikTok versus Facebook. Mm. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. I don't like Facebook. Uh, they say Facebook is for old people, but... I- no, I haven't been. I, I I'm not a fan of Facebook. Ah, Facebook is I. Facebook is I. Um, okay, uh, making music versus performing music. Uh making music. Uh, that's making in, that's interesting. Why why do you say making music? Uh because making something it means you're starting something from scratch. That idea was in your head, so it's it's. I would say it's it's fun creating something that didn't exist than performing something that's already there. The excitement isn't there because when you create something, you don't know how it's going to turn out. So sure. there's a lot of excitement in that. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say making music. Dope. Dope. Would you rather have winter all the time or summer all the time? Mm, I'd, I'd have winter all the time. Why, boy. I would I would have winter all the time. I think I should have I should have been born in the UK or something. <laughs> uh, I think nah, winter's too much in Cape Town, bro. Ay, bro. Yeah, and then summer's too much this side. That's why. Ah, uh, summer. I like summer. I'm a summer baby, you know. I feel yeah. you, King. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Um, nineties. Okay, let me say old school versus new school, music wise. I mean, uh, depends. What's new school? Okay, let me say, let me say it like, for let me dumb it down. Today's music versus the nineties is music. Ah, uh, today's music. Straight. Straight. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh, nineties music has a lot of quiet though in it. It has a lot of hip hop in it. It has a lot of R and B. I'm, I'm not a fan of neither of those. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that's that, that's all I have for today. You know, that's all in the preference section. I wanted Pre-pre-se. to ask you about. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Tyler. What do you, What do you think of Tyler's success, my bro? Uh, you saw she won a Grammy. Uh, yeah. She came out with a big song. That wasn't the first hit. Uh, everyone just knows that song, but that wasn't the first big hit that we know. Yeah. Um. So what What do you think of her success and and her way forward, my brother? What's your opinion on I that? I feel like. A lot of people would see it as overnight success and that she's been planted as an industry plant. But if you remember Tyler from back then in when she dropped Getting Late, yeah. that song was good. Sure. Um, and that was even before TikTok was TikTok. And the song was big in our country. Not internationally, but in our country, the song was big. Yeah. 
Um, I'm not a fan of the Water song, never been. But I won't say that she's not good because I listen to the album and she has an amazing voice. She's a great artist. Yeah. And, you know, she's just the full package. So I would say Tyler's success is, is hard-earned and she deserves to be in the spot that she's in. And I'm rooting for her all the way. You know, she's South African. Why not? That's um, powerful. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like the patriot. Yeah. in that as well <laughs> because you said she's South African why not why not support her? it's one of our own people man I it's our know. own it's our own I don't know why 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 we are eating on our people that's winning but we also want to no. we also want to get we those should, big wins eh? yeah we should be the ones who's defending her yeah big facts bro. you shouldn't be worried about you know um, other people um, try to get it down on the internet we as Africans should do what we do best and that's defending ourselves Ah, big facts, King. Big facts. Yeah. Uh, Tebo, um, one mo- my one message to your fans, my bro. What what would you say to them? Mm, don't give up on me yet. I know that I haven't been consistent with music. This is my first single in three years, and yeah, I've I've got a lot of music that's on the way, and. Yeah, for those who don't know me yet, I think the project that I'm about to drop next is where you guys would know me the way you guys are supposed to know me. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so yeah. you dropped this song that I, that I opened the show up with Trusted, Go Trusted. You dropped that on the 6th of March, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. Your first drop in three years. I didn't know that, dude. Yo. Yeah, it's my, it's my first drop in three years. Um, the last single I dropped was in 2021. Damn. Um, yeah, so it was a comeback. And I felt like I had to come back in a way of, you know, expressing myself. Yeah, I like I like the song, dude. It it, it, it it's nice. It's nice. Mm, thank, I'm not uh, heartbroken you. anymore, you know. Not right. heartbro- I'm not heartbroken anymore, but I like the song. <laughs> I like I'm also not heartbroken anymore. I, I feel like you're in mm. savage mode here, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm in savage mode. <laughs> I wrote the song in 2019 and I recorded the song in 2020. And then, yeah, we shot the music video in 2021. So it's been, the project has been has been sitting there for five years now. Sure. And I felt like now was a good time to release that because I'm not heartbroken anymore. I can promote this with my chest, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's powerful, King. I like that. Um, I know you said it earlier, uh, but where can we find you on social media? I'm tuning uh, in now on can, the show. You, you guys can find me on Instagram as Tebo the Nerd. It's T E B O underscore T H E underscore Nerd. You guys can get me on TikTok at Tebo the Nerd, and that's basically it. <laughs> Only have those two platforms. Yes, sir. Uh, you see, we live on Facebook now, and you don't even have Facebook, but I all. Oh, I think I do have Facebook. It's Tebo Kobola. I use my real name on Facebook, but the Facebook account is not active at all. Aight. Yeah, I yeah. Tevo, what can we expect from you in 2024, my brother? Uh, big moves, big moves. A lot of music, a lot of big moves. I don't want to say, I don't want to, you know, jinx myself by telling people what my plans are. Yeah. But what I can tell my fans is big moves. Powerful. And more music. Powerful. Um, yes, any special shout out you want to do before we sign out with Trusted? Uh, a special shout out to my producer, DJ Nieko, for producing such an amazing song. Yeah. And that's basically it. Sure. How long have you been working with him now? Uh, he, he's, he's been eight years now. Sure. Sure. Been eight years now. So, so you guys know each other's sound and what, what that's about. Yeah, we do know. We do know. That's we powerful. sing, yeah. All right, all right. My brother, do you want to say anything before we sign up? No, I just want to say thank you guys for having me today. The show is amazing. <laughs> Lovely interview. And I'm grateful for the opportunity. Uh, shout out to you, King. Shout out to your publisher as well for eating me up. I see y'all, y'all, got the, y'all got the team. Y'all got the team sorted. So it, 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 means, it means a lot of things, my brother. The, the professionalism means... Now nah, yeah. your 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 things are in order, you know. Your house is in order, yeah. so I like that, dude. Respect. Yes, sir. Shout out to Pitch Republic. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Also, I, I do want to say good luck on your journey, my brother. I just started following you on 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 IG. You know, IG is not one of my favorite uh, platforms, yeah. but but I will be checking you out throughout the year, and I'm playing your music also. Uh, normally, I have a I have a local music show every Friday mornings from eight thirty up until ten o'clock. So I will be playing your songs there. Uh, if you have any mu- new music, your publisher can just send it through, and we will play it here on Radio Stereo for you, my brother. Okay, thank you so much for that. Anytime, King. You must have a you see good, good day for the King. Cheers. Thank you to you as well. Cheers. Bye. Yes, sir. Our station, our talent, our people. Zero six four five three six nine zero nine five. That is that WhatsApp line if you want to talk to anyone at the radio yesterday over directly, like I just did now, guys. That was Tebo the Nerd. Table the Nerd. I said Table the Nerd before we started, but it's actually Table the Nerd, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview, you know, and I enjoyed getting to know the mans a little bit, you know, and just kicking it a bit, man. I hope you guys are still enjoying the vibes. You're on the leading internet radio station, man. Radio Yestrofi. Uso Stasi. Uso Talent. In Unso Minsa. Cheers. You are listening to Radio Yestrofi. I see we have Mr. Pedro van Wijk also tuned in, man. Shout out to you, King. Um, signing out. Shout out to you, man. You were the one I trusted. The one that I love. I kept you a secret. The girl of my dreams. You were the one I trusted. The one that I love. I kept you a secret. The girl of my dreams. I never trust again. Trust again. I never love again. Girl like you, anytime a girl like me, he rears You claim that it's straight, but you low-key Not that I'm mine, but you play my mind You say you mine, why you lying? Sold my car when I hopped in the coupe I was thinking about you Flashbacks, how you took me for a fool I remember our first kiss, it was on the floor You was there for the my catchers We didn't give a d- cause you were catching up You was so tough, matter of fact, it's still tough You the only one telling me, tell me you got a focus If I pull up with my baby, you might think that she's foreign Big eyes look like she bought a shop She a workaholic, she a geek She fell in love with a freak I heard that he's a nerd Your mother all is competition Repetition to protect Yeah, likes to kiss you in your neck She's sweeter than candy Ooh yeah, she my candy I hope that she fine I hope that she don't mind. You were the one I trusted The one that I loved I kept you a secret The girl of my dreams You were the one I trusted The one that I loved I kept you a secret The girl of my dreams I never trusted Thing to you, I'd say your dad is an a- I broke your heart, but it's not my fault. I broke your heart and you did the same. Except for that you play. I can't believe that you did that. Look at my life, it's changed. Got no time for chit chat. Table you and a- table you and a- Every time you fall through my heart with a brick, you really weak and you make me sick. Candy, what you mean? I'm the dude who had your back when nobody had it. Had it. I punish every girl for your mistakes, but what can I say? What can I say? And who can I blame? You went through a lot yourself, girl. Your dad is abusive. Your mama got stressed. Your sister's a psycho. And the other one, you were the one I trusted. The one that I love. I kept you a secret. The girl of my dreams. You were the one I trusted. The one that I love. I kept you a secret. The girl of my dreams. I never trust again. Trust again. I never love again. You are listening to Radio Yesterova.